I gotta go to Icon Edition. Zoom! <laughs> no, no, that's first. There's Jesus, and then Bergie's just above that. You look good, you feel good, you play you good. You see me naked. Mm. <laughs> Great. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in between a couple of superstars. This is Brad Kevin Marchand, and this is David. Javier Pasternak, nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> Great to see you, bro. Good to see you too, bud. Uh, fellas, I want to start with the hardest questions first. All right. I saw a video on your team's channel, and you specifically were um, styling the reverse retro jersey. Yeah. And there was all kinds of criticism about the model. Why are there so many haters on this team, bro? <laughs> Do you know the video I'm talking about? Because no, you're, no, uh, but the, you're in it. Am I? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, you're talking please. about the Winter Classic jersey, so. No, I'm talking about just the one with the Pooh Bear. Yeah. The white oh. with the Pooh Bear on okay. the front. I think we could have had a better model. That's my thoughts. Oh, no. Hate the model, love the sweater. <laughs> jersey, 10 out of 10. Face, 7 out of 10. <laughs> six. I mean, look at that. That's probably the best compliment, too. You gave him a six on the face. No, he gave me a seven. No, but then he, he downgraded to a six. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I blocked that part out. <laughs> He heard seven, he stayed with seven. Yeah, that's, that's Technically, I'm, I said seven. six up loud, I told three. <laughs> okay, I so just can't say the right number three in English. Yeah, you said so it. Usually I pick three in Czech numbers, is yeah. ten in English. That's how it is. You're a ten in Prague. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but a six in Boston. Yeah. The jerseys, what do you think personally? Oh, they look unbelievable. Thank I mean, you. yeah. We got a lot of twos on our team, and they're looking like tens tonight. Do you know why there are so many haters on your team, bro? Yeah, because they wish they were this good looking. I know how it goes. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? Speaking of fits, what you guys wore at the Winter Classic, like the pregame fit, was legendary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you see, now that's 10 out of 10 right that, here. That's a 10 out of 10 look. <laughs> now, fellas, has there been any discussion about a team pregame fit before a playoff game? Well, it's just playoff time, it, it's all business. So you start kind of playing around and it's just it's You don't want to give the team anything. Exactly. Other teams, you know, it's like bulletin board material, you know? Have you heard of the expression, you look good, you feel good, you play good? good. Yeah, but we always right? look good, yeah. don't we? We always I mean, look well, good. According to your teammates, yeah. you don't always look good. <laughs> There's many ways to look good, right? Yeah, you see me naked. <laughs> sure, behind the knee, the, uh, the red tube edition. Okay, we're cutting this part out, we're cutting this part out. Uh, so, okay, a couple, of, a couple of ideas for themes. One is super Boston, one that's super awesome. Super Boston is you guys dress like the new kids on the block. I don't know if you're familiar with the new kids on the block, but shout out to Donnie Wahlberg. Oh, These yeah. are some Boston yeah, dudes. Yeah. They were some pop star icons. So you got to take it back to like 1991. I yeah, I'm like a pop, like pop chic, so like a jean jacket, maybe like a, a vintage tee. Paso wears that stuff all the time. You wear? He makes it look good. Hey, your fit at the uh, All Star game. Thanks. That was fire. I'm yeah, I'm guessing guess you gave it to him. Can I have me. one of these? Up the, your, <laughs> Bro, you let, let me hang for about 10 minutes. No, I didn't know what you mean. <laughs> <It's here. laughs> all right, fine. Uh, and this, the second one, you mentioned all business, or you mentioned all business, John Wick. The whole oh, squad, yeah. Yeah. black black suits, little thin black ties, yeah. all business. And the weapons are right here, and your artillery is all, hang on, hang on. Marshawn scores, and he's zeroed in. It's just hard to make a hair like Tommy. Bro, you have your, you can, like, my dude, you can buy it. It's just how I was. This to wash it. it. So this is what bald people do to me always. <laughs> <laughs> Flaky does it all the whole time, yeah. Now I gotta go to Icon Edition, okay, bro? Icon Edition heading into, okay, this is like final talk, like the late great Kobe Bryant yeah. in 2002, before each NBA Finals game. He rocked a legendary jersey. This is Joe Namath, winner of Super Bowl three. This is Jackie Robinson, an icon in baseball. Yeah. This is the great Michael, six NBA championships, and then finally the great one. Yeah, oh yeah. Before every game of the finals, and they swept mm -hmm. the New Jersey Nets at the time. Would you consider wearing legendary jerseys pregame in the playoffs? We wouldn't, because again, we, 
are not Kobe, we don't get that swag. But I wonder if that gives you some superpower. It must. Because Kobe then. Confidence be going through the roof, confidence, yeah. Confidence, I know your confidence is 100,000 trillion. We get you to 100,000 trillion, rock one of these. Oh, hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from such self-help videos as get confident, stupid. One thing I've always wondered is like when, when athletes, they give this quote, we like to play our game. Yeah. We like to play fill in the blank hockey. So in this case, Bruins hockey. Can yeah. you define what Bruins hockey is for me, please? You want to take it? Yeah, it's, it's very easy game. It's hard, you know, finish your checks, put it deep, four check. Give it to Pasta. Play on the puck, <laughs> have a puck, drop the gloves if you have to. <laughs> okay, and then for you, how Nobody do you... Nobody touch Bergie. Yeah. Nobody yeah. touch Bergie, okay. Yeah. That, yeah, that's automatic. That's first and foremost for everything. Hit behind the play on Bergeron. Marshawn takes down Pitlick and pounds him. You don't hit our captain light. I love the fact that Marshawn made the guy pay a price for doing it. There's Jesus, and then Bergie's just above that. Oh, wow. So, yeah, okay. he, uh, he, he's right. It's... The patron saint of Patrice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Patrice Bergeron, a thousand points for a one in a million player. And Bergeron, the ultimate three zone player, is involved in the offense finished by Brad Marshawn. Your coach, Jim Montgomery, has phenomenal quotes. I've been watching behind the beat, and this is how he describes relentless Bruins hockey. Hold, please. Came with another video. Ah, oh, damn. My password is 888888. <laughs> uh, here we go. All right, boys, let's play relentless Bruins hockey where we're getting pucks back in five seconds when we don't have it. And we're attacking their net wave after wave. All right, stay in a moment and let's get after it here. I want to fight some people when I hear it. This <laughs> yeah. and, like, and his sound bites only like, I don't know, yeah, 15 he's... seconds, or, and, but they're punchy. He's a good you... speaker, yeah. He, he, he's really good at uh, direct motivational speaking. And uh, he's, uh, he's had a couple this year. I'm like, I'm ready to go for their wall. Yeah, nice. Yeah, he's, he's good. I was driving here this morning, and uh, Summer of 69 by Brian Adams came on. There's a line in there that it's the best days of your life. And I got to say, in my coaching career, this year has been the best days of my life. But what gives us those good things? We believe in a process and habits that give us success. That's what gives us our best days of our life. Let's go. What is the most impressive team stat? I'm like a, a hockey fan, but I'm not, I don't dive into the box score and get into the metrics as, as maybe you guys no, do. No, I could care less about that stuff. But what I about know. the advanced metrics? Yeah, I could care. No, I okay, fine. <laughs> You're just like, I, I don't need all this reading. No, it's way too give complicated. Give me the photos, give yeah. me the video. <laughs> okay, look, just some random ones that I look at, like yeah. wins, yeah. goal differential, yeah. penalty kill percentage. Like what is the most impressive when you like- I think you cannot pick one, you know, it, no, I think I you would have to do at least goal. three of them, I think. Okay, what are the th what's the top three? What's on the, what's on the podium, David? Goal differential, five, five versus five, and then power play and penalty kill percentage. Can we put them on different parts of the podium? What's the, what's the bronze? Goal differential, goal differ five v five, penalty kill, power play. Goal differential? No, I thought goal differential was bronze. Goal differential. Oh, no, that's first. It's gold, okay, yeah, it's fine. gold. Yeah, then you got penalty kill, penalty. power play. Yeah. Power play, okay, yeah. wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Look, he knows that I'm not right. Yeah. Like, I need to help him along a little bit. We're good, this guy. Yeah, okay. Uh, last thing, uh, to many people in, uh, in the city of Boston, you guys are like superheroes. You have a tremendous talent. You are handsome, you check a bunch of boxes, charismatic, and you are just like, you are willing your team to victories. Pasternak drops it to McAvoy, closes, Pasternak scores! What a victory for Boston. You have a very high hockey IQ, and people don't give that, give you enough credit. Also, you, you punch above your, your weight class. Like, you might be a, what, 155 pounds? <laughs> well, so you, good you, you punch your mother, it's like two, <laughs> 230. Um, so I want to float this idea to you. Yeah. Hold, please. <laughs> Growing up, I was a tremendous fan of cartoons. We came up with an AI cartoon called Pasta and Marshall. <laughs> and these are the characters. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, show, show the audience. 
Okay, listen, listen, don't worry about the physical features. Okay? Yeah, what? Uh, I don't have a mole. That's like a, no, that's like a radio. Oh, yeah. the radio. But Way too much face hair. Wait a second, wait a second. You're focusing on the wrong things. What was the dopest movie of 2022? Was it not Top Gun Maverick? Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Your reputation precedes you. Thank you, sir. Wasn't a compliment. So listen, you are uh, yeah, handsome. You have you I have great uh, physical lips. Look at my lips. strong neck. Here. Yeah, strong, like, uh, very yeah, strong jaw. <laughs> yeah. Why do I look like I'm 80? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, but also, you're kind of emotional. This is the part about the character. You're like very emotional, so you can be manipulated. Great because teeth too. Marshy is a superhero, but you're also the super villain. Oh, there's a little plot bit. twist. Yeah, right. Yeah, plot twist. Yes. On the surface, what do you think of the pitch? A pasta and marshy cartoon to be available on some streaming platform. I love the pitch. Okay. I just feel like needs to be a little bit of work on the drawing. Because <laughs> <laughs> you need to make it even because if we are supposed to fight Because I'm way taller that... than this. No, but you guys are teammates. You don't have to oh, go, we're not you, gonna no, you're, you're not going to fight each yeah, other. I can't oh, protect him then because look at my neck <laughs> like this is... You can protect. Look at that. Yeah, you got a great is... jawline. <laughs> yeah. Strong. You could take a punch. Yeah, or yeah. two. <laughs> you look like in the, the Russian guy in, Rocky. in real life. I no. love that they got the wrinkles right too. I, have <laughs> I will leave you with these, and I will leave you with the, the ultimate plan, which is what you guys plan to execute in the future. Continue playing relentless Bruins hockey, and give those muffins. Oh. Thank you. Appreciate it, bud. Good to see you. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you so much, homie. Thank you.